getting ready to go on a day trip. <laughs> Cowgirl Jeannie's going to do the driving if I can talk her into it. Oh, okay, so you're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a cute little feet putting on her boots. Okay, so we're starting our trip and right now we've come up through Mead, Kansas. There's cowgirl Janie at the wheel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Better me <be> than you. <laughs> what a brat. What a brat. Look at the pretty colors. Oh, look over there. Look, look. Oh, wow. wow. Oh. Isn't that nice? That's it don't take much to entertain. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, well, look here on the other side. Oh. Oh, oh. colors up going the wrong way. Oh, Ooh, I think it was down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this oh, is look at the park. This is the park at Mead. Look at all yeah, the so pretty nice. colors. Nice trees, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I got some kid over there. That's cool. My goodness. Heading out to the open prairie, and we'll get some footage of that here pretty soon. We got a little bit of farm ground we need to get past. That's not too exciting. There's a cemetery for all you folks that like cemeteries. Off towards Gate, Oklahoma. Yeehaw! <laughs> Cowgirl Janie's not only a wonderful radio personality, she's the only one of us with a driver's license. <laughs> give you an idea of what we're driving through right now if you're looking at this from some far distant away place outside of uh, Kansas this is typical western Kansas as you can see it's just as flat as a pancake right in through here there's a field with uh, with uh, looks like Milo stubble What is that? I, I think it needs to be cut. Yeah, yeah it's already cut there. There's the wheat field that's coming up. Yeah, really and nice. then the wheat, it's starting to come up. It's looking good this year. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Someone on the radio was asking about the wheat. start uh, we'll get into the hills here pretty quick another mile or two and then uh, I'll turn this back on and, and show you some prairie vistas that are just really beautiful alrighty we've gone another probably five or six miles now and we're starting to get down into the open range country and I always thought that this would be a good place to film a western because of it's just there's nothing out here for miles and miles but just wide open prairie it's just beautiful out here I don't know how well the camera can pick some of this up
the area we're going through right now is uh, just straight east of uh, Mead, Kansas, and it's on Highway 160. Really pretty out here. This area out here hadn't changed any, or not all that much, ever. So it's just, uh, I think the reason is, is because the ground's too worthless to farm. It's uh, down below what we're looking at right here, just a couple of inches, you start running into some pretty serious rock. So I don't guess it'll ever be farmed, which is all right by me. I think we need something other, other than farm ground in Kansas. Many trees, no. Now the trees you see is kind of in the low spots where the bricks and stuff are, and the farmsteads. There'll be some trees planted along there, but now here's an example right here. See, we're getting down into a low spot where there's a uh, crick runs through. Get some of the <laughs> colors and stuff for you. Isn't that pretty? Jiggle devices. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I put one on my belly. That's the first vehicle we've passed the whole trip right there. Yeah, it is. They probably never thought they'd be on film. But here they are. There's a coyote out there. See that coyote? Coyote. Yeah, by that one oh, how about that? I don't know if I got that or not. Uh, I tried to point out that way. There's coyote out there by the by that one cow laying down. Yeah, he just There's not much out here to bother him. Sometimes it kind of surprises you how lax those coyotes get. Oh, Scenery. I always like this valley in through here. It, uh, well, there goes the second vehicle we've seen. Most folks from the big city, I guess, they probably see two vehicles before they even get out of their yard. But, uh, let me go over this way.
vehicle number three. And I think he knows it. <laughs> and we've turned the corner and we're going south uh, down towards Gate, Oklahoma. But here's some more of this uh, beautiful scenery. Open range country. The horizon that you're seeing way off over there is probably oh six, seven, eight miles off, something like that. And I'm just about out of battery already. Hey. Yeah, I know that's not fun. We got to buy some battery. I guess we're gonna have to buy a battery for the camera. They're not supposed to last forever, but I've had this thing plugged in for a week and we get about five minutes or so out of it. It's kind of discouraging. I was hoping maybe to do some film uh, when we got down the gate. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to do that some other time. There's uh, some uh, real neat murals and stuff painted on the walls down there uh, around that town, the different different uh, buildings and things and then I need to get some video one of these days on a quiet day of uh, a house that I was born in which is about oh, four miles I guess east of gate uh, nobody lives there anymore belong to my aunt and uncle and uh, nobody uh, had the termites pretty much got it and I don't know how much longer it's going to be standing so probably be a good idea to go back there and get some good video uh, what we're doing now we're going down into what they call the big basin or uh, sinkhole and uh, this whole piece of ground just fell down one day kaplop and this is where we filmed the other day, wasn't it, honey? Yes, it was. I'm yeah, we went we went over in those hills over there and uh, did a little bit of shooting. As a matter of fact, that uh, some of those big hills that you see over there, I believe, were in the video when we did the panoramic shot. So, but this whole uh, area we're driving through right now, all the way around this, you'll see is a rim. We're down below in the low spot, the bottom of this sinkhole. And uh, over to the, uh, I'm looking west, but over to the east, oh, about a mile maybe, is uh, Jacob's Well. And that's where we had the pictures the other day of Janie. She likes to go there and feed fish. Yep. Take bread, toss it out there. Yep. Good old homemade bread. If that's what they prefer. Yeah. Sometimes, well, it's yeah, it's healthier than the hamburger uh, buns from Bob's. Yeah. But uh, we fed them that too one time, and uh, they wrote us and asked us if we would feed them a little better chow. So we bring them homemade bread now. But that's one of the things Janie likes to do. She likes to feed the fish, and I like to watch her feed the fish because it makes her happy. Okay, here we are in Gate, and we're going to try just to get a picture of some of the way that uh, the murals have been painted on some of these buildings here. There's where we just ate. Lori's Cafe. Good food. Good stuff, wasn't it, honey? Yeah, good company. Good Not, you bet. We enjoyed visiting with the folks. I think once they found out a lot of them that I was a native, they kind of eased up a little. Mm -hmm. Especially when you wear your badge. <laughs> There's some of the stuff painted along this fence here although the primers come off and it just didn't stick very well so here we are there's the gate, gate Oklahoma's 
sign and right here this is kind of a little setting park they have here sort of but uh, this used to be the old bank building and right there was the vault that's still there and they just kind of kind of did a little uh, decorating on that isn't that something and alongside this building here I wanted to come up this sidewalk here just a little bit show you the front some of the front on this building here the way they've got it in that something but uh, anyway why <laughs> just neat the way they've got her fixed up. Dawned on me, I guess, that I ain't in this video anywhere, so I'll show you my ugly mug. <laughs> and here we got cowgirl Janie. She's uh, looking over this part back here. Beautiful day down in downtown Gate, Oklahoma. Hi, <laughs> Hi cowgirl. A dead or alive, dirty, rotten Dirk. That's him right there. That's just some more of the murals they got there. Murals? Is that the way to say that? I don't know. That's how they say it here. Murals, murial, murals. No. And we're about to run out of juice there, so I wanted to get this wagon real quick that was parked here. And this might be the last of the video. This is the Gate Oklahoma Museum. And uh, this is the old depot here. Used to be the Katy Railroad run through Gate. But here they've got murals of all these different characters. I've heard tell that's supposed to be my uncle Kenneth Bailey who was the depot agent here. Really? But I don't know if that's true. Has his, your eyes. That's just what everybody says and, and the gal that painted the picture, I don't know whether she meant for that to be him or not. I have no idea. And then here's a Here's another little picture there on this billboard that she painted. Real pretty. But anyway, there's the little sign right there. And my Aunt Ernestine Maffet was uh, really instrumental in uh, getting this museum a going. And there is, uh, I guess this is kind of a welcome sign in the gate or something that they've got here that this same person has painted right there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I guess that's about it. We're out of battery for sure. And this has kind of been our day trip to Gate, Oklahoma. Sorry we're out of time, but we'll make you some more videos here for long.